Good morning, guys. Bitcoin went up to $3,200. I really did not expect this to happen after the fork. I thought Bitcoin would go down, would go down in fiat value because some people would dump it uh, for uh, Bitcoin Cash. And, and also I thought Bitcoin price was inflated a little because some people had bought Bitcoin for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, and might now sell it as as I've seen with other forks happening uh, For example, you see it every month with bite ball that uh, people uh, bid up the price before uh, there's an, uh, another distribution and um, and and then that price dumps and um, I had expect the same with uh, Bitcoin, but no after uh, that fork the price went up and broke the all-time high and uh, before the all-time high was broken, if you add the both uh, of them together, before Bitcoin Cash forked, it already had in the futures market about uh, yeah um, one tenth of the value of Bitcoin. So and at the time, uh, week to week back, Bitcoin was 2,800 plus 10 percent. It was already broken the all-time high, but not clearly. But then Bitcoin forks, it gets a value on its own, uh, Bitcoin Cash. But Bitcoin itself also goes up. So, so, yeah, uh, this is weird, um, and um, I didn't expect this. Uh, I can't say uh, that we're in a bear market anymore, um, and I'm sorry for the constant, constantly uh, changing my mind on this. And 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 and, but it's unbelievable how many, yeah. It, how many times Bitcoin and the crypto market puts you on the wrong leg and um, that's why I don't like for example investing based on technical analysis uh, because uh, you always basically yeah you have to always you always buy after the market went up uh, right, right now technical analysis is, so start saying oops oh maybe we are in a bull market and maybe sh you should buy and then you get the clear buy signals a little bit higher but it can turn around again and then and then and, and then it goes down and then technical analysis will sell you give you more and more indicators that you should sell and and, and so you you always have small losses and and these are 10 20 percent losses eh? Maybe five to ten percent, ten to twenty percent, depending on 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 how wide eh, you set your your um, your um, yeah stop losses and 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 buy uh, levels. But this is uh, yeah. I don't think um, I, I think technical analysis is, is valuable, but only when used in combination with fundamental analysis. And so. Basically, fundamental analysis will show you what's really undervalued and what can really go up a lot. Uh, and, and, and so you're looking for 10 X's or 100 X's or 1000 X's. And, um, and, 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 uh, but then, of course, um, uh, you have to look for an entry point and an exit point. And then technical analysis can be interesting to use. Uh, for example, now we're clearly in a, a bull market, or we have been in a bull market, then it was not clear. Uh, but since we already did, did a 10x, um, you, you can use technical analysis today to decide your exit point out of this market, uh, but not to trade it short term, I think this will create a lot of losses. Uh, but I have to admit, I don't know much about technical analysis, so uh, I, I could be wrong uh, in this. And, and there might be uh, some uh, traders that use technical analysis and make great profits. But my suspicion is that most people that you see on Twitter that, that, that use technical analysis um, uh, to buy and sell cryptocurrencies make much less money than uh, fundamental investors. Uh, uh, so people that uh, are value investors and and, 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 and and are buying crypto during bear markets and are selling it in bull markets or are just sitting on it for years and years. Those, of course, um, have made a lot more money. But uh, this is also a very difficult task. It's not so easy as it seems, not at all. But um, so, so, so... <clears throat> 
I'm continuing my strategy, uh, and, and 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 the mistakes I've made in this in this um, in this uh, the biggest mistake I made in this bull market the past two years is that I didn't follow my strategy, uh, which is uh, following the Kelly criteria. The higher it goes, uh, the less exposure I want to have to crypto. But um, right now it's. Well, we're in a bull market and I'm not making that much money actually again it's already two three months ago that I was at an all-time high with my portfolio it corrected uh, to minus yeah, minus uh, uh, about um, 30 30 35% or so yeah uh, from the high and then now it's back up uh, and I'm still at minus 20% or so um, but I'm not at new all-time highs even though the crypto market is at an all-time high right now so so I did some bad well moves uh, and the bad the biggest bad move I, I did was that well B Bitcoin went straight up to 2,900 then it corrected uh, no it went actually well, let's look at the total market cap uh, so the crypto market went, went up straight to 90 billion, then corrected to 60 billion, then went to a new all-time high of 115 billion, then corrected again to 60 billion, and then now we're back at 115 billion. Eh? So um, uh, on the way up to 90 billion, I wasn't following my plan uh, and, and I wasn't selling enough. Um, and then uh, the, the first 90 billion was also when uh, Bitcoin uh, went not to the all-time high uh, of 2,950, but it went probably to somewhere around 2,700 to 2,800, something like that. Um, I, I didn't sell, uh, I, I wasn't like selling enough as it went up. And so then you had a big correction and then um, to from, from 90 billion to 60 billion and then I thought mm, okay the, 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 this, this is the first time it happens uh, all, the other cryptos altcoins also uh, dropped a lot versus Bitcoin so there was the first big shock and for me uh, suddenly the odds were higher that we started the bear market than, we're, than that we're still in bull market and so around 70 billion 75 billion I really sold a big position I went from about was it 30% fiat to about 50% fiat or so but so that was at 70 billion and was that uh, the right move looking back on it uh, I'm not so sure um, I think um, you know I made a mistake before I was at 90 billion and I chose to be 30% in uh, fiat only eh? or 70% or uh, still in crypto so when it goes to 70 billion, suddenly I go, uh, uh, and the value of crypto is lower, uh, but I choose to uh, basically sell a lot of crypto. And um, I think that was, um, that was not a good move. Um, probably I should have just admitted that I didn't sell enough higher. Uh, and so I just should, if I get a new chance, uh, sell more on that price point. But I've sold a very big piece of my uh, portfolio uh, at the same price, which, which is around 80 billion market cap. And um, yeah, I'm paying the price for that today and uh, by not having that much exposure to crypto and so not making that much money anymore. Um, and now it can be that um, that we go into a new continued bull market goes a lot higher but now I continue to apply the Kelly criteria so um, uh, I want uh, at current prices 70% uh, in fiat and only 30% in crypto and this will go up to like only 20% in crypto but only at considerably higher prices for uh, for Bitcoin and the, and the total crypto market so right now uh, my, 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 my uh, it's gonna go slower so it's about I have to check my numbers but it's about Basically, I'm going to be at only at a minimal exposure of only 10% crypto when it's around $8,000 or so uh, cryptocurrency because I, I think it's possible to happen something like that uh, for Bitcoin, but um, not likely without seeing first uh, a considerable correction. And, and so 
And so if we don't get that correction, if we go today straight to uh, 8,000, I will continue to sell uh, down to only 10% crypto. But so today I'm selling down to 30% crypto. So I, I, I'm still busy with the move I was doing to go from 60% to 70% uh, fiat. And, uh, and I'm uh, lucky too because I sold some alts in Bitcoin and now Bitcoin goes up. So I can sell that Bitcoin for a higher price. Uh, but I have to stick to my plan. It's very important um, to uh, just uh, sell uh, ba based on um, uh, the prices on the market caps. I also made a mistake with Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I bought at 0 0.1 in the futures market. Uh, then uh, it was uh, released and um, it went up to 0 0.3 say. I could have sold for 0 0.2 a piece, but I didn't. And that was a mistake. I should have sold a piece. And, um, and then uh, now it's at 0 0.06. So so I'm at a loss uh, and um, well, this was indeed, <laughs> that a, there were high odds um, that it would go down um, and, uh, and, 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 and I also took that into account when making the investment. I said, okay, I'm investing only half and the other half and prices are considerably lower. So that's still yet to come. I, I do plan to invest. Um, but uh, more in Bitcoin Cash, uh, but yeah, of course, I have to wait now for a, a bigger dump before I can do that uh, because it can go considerably lower than 0 0.06, can also go to 0 0.01, uh, so that's certainly possible. Uh, and of course, uh, it has to be said also in my previous video, uh, Bitcoin Cash is uh, like Bitcoin, uh, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one comparison, of course, this is a new team. Uh, they, they fork off, so they start with the same coin holders, but they have a lot of work ahead uh, to conquer the markets and, 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 and to convince, uh, to get traction uh, everywhere with, with exchanges, with merchants. Um, it's uh, all a very big experiment. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, it's certainly not a sure thing uh, at all. Uh, so um, um, I made some mistakes there. Um, uh, but uh, yeah. I think the most important thing in investing is to never go full retard uh, and that means um, uh, going all in or all out uh, uh, I mean are you 100% certain something is going to be a success or 100% certain it's going to go down never if you are, well, you're fooling yourself because nothing's 100% certain in the world of investing uh, and entrepreneurship. So, so um, it's, a, it's a game of odds, and, but it is your job to give it, uh, to estimate the odds. And, and so if you're very, very certain, you can say 99%, 95%, 90% certain that uh, something's going to happen and, and then you can bet... Uh, 90% on that, but also bet 10% on the other scenario. That's what the Kelly criteria learns me and, and, and says and, 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 and is really wise to do. Uh, that, that's, um, that's the way to make money. Uh, and, and that's how you learn also uh, to evaluate your estimates, because later on, when things go differently, you can reevaluate. Was was my estimate right? Was it 90% certain to happen? No, it wasn't. Probably when it doesn't happen, and so the 10% happens, gives you a chance to reevaluate if your estimation was right or not, and so you you become better over time at it and and become more modest in 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 estimating the probabilities, and um, that's a good thing. Mm, that helps a lot.